I remember everything. I remember just sitting there talking with my son and I remember hitting, just going up the hill and I remember blinking because I thought I was seeing things when I saw headlights coming at me and I just blinked and it was done. And I remember the force. I remember feeling like I was stuck. After the impact, I remember looking back and just screaming at them, telling them to wake up, trying to get them to move something. Just kept screaming their names. I couldn't get them to come to. And I remember just feeling like I was helpless that I couldn't do anything for them. And everybody came around and I remember hearing the lady tell me that they were dead. I just remember feeling like I failed my children because the one thing I always promised my kids was that I would protect them. And still to this day, I feel like I failed them. And everybody keeps telling me, you didn't fail them, you didn't do anything wrong, but being a mother and losing the two people that, in life that you're supposed to protect is hard to say that, hey, I know it's not my fault. I know I didn't do anything wrong, but that night, I feel like I did. I feel like I, feel like I failed them. I remember him going around the corner and me blowing him kisses and blowing him kisses back. Not knowing that 15 minutes later they'd be dead. And I remember getting the phone call. The accident happened at 540. I got a phone call at 730 from the University of Nebraska Medical Center telling me that my daughter was life lighted there. And I kept screaming, where's the boys? Is Nina alive? Are the boys alive? She wouldn't tell me anything. I remember trying to make the choice. Do I go find my grandsons? Or do I go to my daughter to see if she is gonna stay alive? Do I go take care of her babies or do I go take care of my baby? I didn't know which way to go. Uh, when I first, you know, when everything first happened, I, you know, I was like, it was an accident, it was an accident. And then as time went on, I started finding out more and stuff like that and what had actually happened and stuff like that. I became more angry because I was sitting there thinking, okay, what was so important in your life that you had to ruin somebody else's? And as time went on and I didn't, hear, angry. I didn't hear an apology from her and I didn't hear nothing from her. I got more mad because I'm sitting here thinking, okay, my life is ruined because you were having a bad day and was in a hurry and decided to text people while driving. I just miss them climbing on my lap because they did it every night before they, they went to bed. bed with us. <laughs> They'd climb on my lap and sit there and tell me, I love you, mommy, hugs and kisses. And I'd tell them, I love you, back to the dirt, back to the moon. And they'd be like, I love you too, back to the dirt, back to the moon. Except for Alex couldn't say that hardly for a He'd while. always He'd say, back a moon, back a moon. moon. <laughs> but I just missed that. And I just want people to realize what distracted driving can cause. And I don't want people to remember my kids because of some what somebody did bad. I want them to remember them that, hey, I can fix what I do wrong and realize that, you know, another little kid like my children don't have to pay the price.
They were two little kids who had a life ahead of them, who had never hurt anybody in their life, and they didn't deserve this to happen to them. To save one person at least, if we can save more, I would be amazingly grateful. But if we can get to one person, maybe that one person could go to the next. Have you ever seen the movie Pay It Forward? That's what I want to Pay It Forward. Hoping. If we get through to one, that one can maybe get through to more. Pay It Forward. That's what I want to do. I want it to just, it's got to stop. And it just seems like it just keeps happening more and more and more. And that's my goal is I want people to realize what it can do, not just to you, but to everyone. It didn't just screw up my family, it screwed up the girl's family that hit me, too. And that's what people need to realize. It doesn't just screw up the people that are the victims, it screws up the people that are part of your, the other person's family, too. It screws up everybody. I still have Alex and Malachi singing on my phone. I have Alex singing Scooby-Doo and Malachi saying, what's he say? Uh, Found it. Found it. <laughs> and then I have him singing, what's the song he's singing? I can't get rid of it. <laughs> I listen to that all the time. It's her ringtone on my phone. Their laugh. Everything. Bye. Bye. I love you too.